Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be covering the notes on the B string. We'll be covering the first octave, which is the open B string, to the 12th fret. This is the second video of the series. The first video covered the high E string, and if you haven't watched that video yet, you can click the card. I'll also leave a link below in the description. All right, let's get started. First are the natural notes. We have B open. We have C on the first fret. D on the 3rd fret, E on the 5th fret, that's the same as the open E string, the high E there. On our 6th fret we have F, on the 8th fret we have G, on the 10th fret we have A, and on the 12th fret we have the octave B. Going back 10th fret we have A. G on the 8th fret, F on the 6th fret, E on that 5th fret, 3rd fret being D, C on the 1st fret, and finally open B. Now let's look at chromatic notes. In this exercise, I will use sharps on the way up and flats on the way down. If you're still struggling with remembering the notes, I have left a link to a free PDF that you can print and use as a reference sheet below in the description. All right, so we have B open. We have C on the first fret. C sharp on the second fret. D on the third fret. D sharp on the fourth fret. E on the fifth fret. F on the 6th fret, on the 7th fret we have F sharp, on the 8th fret we have G, G sharp on the 9th fret, A on the 10th fret, A sharp on the 11th fret, and on the 12th fret we have B. Alright, so descending on the 11th fret we have B flat, on the 10th fret we have A. A flat on the 9th fret, on the 8th fret we have G, G flat is our 7th fret, our 6th fret is F, E on the 5th fret, our 4th fret is E flat, D is our 3rd fret, D flat is our 2nd fret, and then C on the 1st fret, and then open B. It's important to remember while doing these exercises that we're sticking to only playing the B string. All right, let's try some sight reading. One, two, three, four.
One, two, three, four. 